Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for July 2nd through the 8th. I do apologize for the delay. I'm just a little bit behind, but not for long. This is for the sign of Aquarius. First full week of July or whenever it resonates with you. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Holding on to something that you don't shouldn't be holding on to, okay? This right here, something needs to end so that you can have a new beginning. I'm not sure what this is, but somebody is holding on to something that is not serving them, put it that way. This is a major new beginning. This is supposed to be a new beginning, but it's not happening because you're still, you. it's in reverse. That has, something has to end so that you can start a new chapter in your life. Yeah, you need to let go. This is an idea, the death of an idea. You've reached a dead end in some situation of your life. Maybe, you know, you need to just, oh my God. This is a judgment card reverse. There's lack of awareness here, okay? Lack of awareness, lack of faith, um, lack of refusing to wake up and see the light. I mean, this is a, this is a, I see the light kind of card in the upright, but somebody's not seeing the light, okay? They're refusing to wake up and accept the truth. In many decks, this card is labeled truth. Okay, it's, I don't want to see the truth. I don't want to see the truth that something is over. So I'm not sure what this is. This is like a death card as well. In the other decks, um, many other decks, this person is laying on a coffin. Okay, so it's like some idea that you have in your head, um, it needs to go. It's not right. You're not making the right call. Something is needs to end in which you are holding on to. That's the, that's the case here. You have a new chapter waiting if you would just step over the finish line, if you would complete this cycle in your life. There's a new cycle that is like really ready to begin with you, but you're refusing. Refusing. I mean, that's what this judgment card is. There's a lot of self-doubt. There's loathing. There's, um, I refuse to wake up. I refuse to believe this. I refuse to believe the truth, whatever it is. I don't know. Oh, goodness gracious, the Empress Reverse, this is um, the lack of love, a lack of growth, uh, unable to birth a new idea, and this is holding on to a dead end, okay? So this is no no new birth here, no no rebirth, okay? So you're, you're, something needs to go. There is absolutely the truth here. Nine of Pentacles Reverse, definitely a lack of self-love, a lack of... Um, self-worth oh. you could be dealing with somebody that is selfish somebody that is a liar somebody that is um, brings a lot of conflicts into your life somebody that is all talk 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 you know they don't they don't have any follow-through Oh my goodness. So, yeah, they don't have any follow through. That's for darn sure. You know, it's time for you to get what you deserve. And you guys are holding on to a situation that you are. You are holding on to a situation that is going nowhere. You have a new opportunity, a new cycle, a new life right in front of you. If you would find your self worth, if you would realize what you already have this is not realizing it. it is both of these cards there's a there's like a rebirth that wants to happen these are both rebirth in the upright they're both reversed but you guys you guys are not allowing it you're not allowing this breakdown to happen that needs to happen so that you can have a new chapter something very balanced okay but the thing is is that Right now, you're, you're, you're hoping and wishing for something to grow that isn't meant to be. It's not. It's lack of awareness. 
There's no chance in this situation, whatever it is you're holding on to. I'm not sure what it is. You want more. You want growth. But there is no growth, okay? There's no growth here. This is a this is a false foundation in which you're sacrificing your own independent you're sacrificing your own self needlessly. Now the fact of the matter is this nine of pentacles is I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. You know, upright, she's uh very abundant. She enjoys the finer things in life. She does very, very well on her own. She knows that she knows who she is. She knows what she's worth. She knows that she can deal with anything because she has a lot of life experience behind her back. She's just very strong. She has a lot of willpower. She has a lot of strength. She's just abundant with who she is. It's in reverse. I don't want to be alone. She's an independent woman and she thrives in her independence in the upright. Reverse. It's like, I don't want to be alone. And that's why I think you guys are hanging on to something that doesn't isn't fulfilling you, but there's codependency here, okay? There is. There's codependency. Hoping and praying for relationship growth in a situation for this to work out. But the fact of the matter is, is there's too many conflicts. There's too much um, bickering, okay? And it feels as though at this point, you really need to go after what you deserve. You know, it takes, it takes two. It does. It takes two. And I think you're involved in a situation where you're the only one putting in effort and somebody else is not. But you're still holding on to it anyway because, you know, there's a codependency issue here. So I'm not sure what this is. But uh, you, other people see. This, is, this position is how other people see you. Other people see that you don't love yourself. I'm sorry. I mean... Or they see, I mean, this that you're that you're unwilling to have this to start the new chapter in your life. Other people see that. Other people see that you're not feeling a lot of self-love. I mean, that's what this is. That you're not allowing a new beginning. That's what they see. They see that you're not allowing it. It's almost like you're smothering yourself, self-sabotage. And they also see that you have options, but you're not taking them. You're beautiful. Other people do see that you're a beautiful person. They see that you have a very kind heart. They see that. But they see that you're not doing what you need to do to have your new chapter. They see that you're not taking action. Your challenge is this page of swords. You're reversed. This is your challenge. Your challenge is difficult communication. You know, you could be unable to set boundaries in your life at this time. Your challenge is waking up and, and, and doing what you have to do, accepting the truth. So your advice is to stop stop sacrificing yourself. This is fear of sacrifice. Fear of this is your this is advice and future. Stop sacrificing yourself. There could be a new opportunity in, of love. But this is the future. Okay? There could be. But you have to bring balance back to your life for it to come and right now things are not balanced because you're holding on to something that is dead and it is getting old. Whatever this is. There's a contract that needs to end. There's too much there's too much uh, conflict and indecision and disconnection in this partnership. There is. It needs to end. It's 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 and if it's already ended physically, it needs to end emotionally. It needs to end internally. There's no opportunity going to come your way in regards to this situation. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. In the future, you see, your advice is here. There's a new opportunity with somebody else, and I think it's a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in the future. But right now you need to let go of this contract that isn't well suited for you. It's not meant to be. But you're holding on to it and that's a card of consequences. If you continue to hold on to it, then you won't get this new opportunity that is being presented to you by somebody else. Or would be presented to you if you had let go. 
So you guys are holding on to something that is not meant to be. There is a new opportunity coming in if you would let go. And part of letting go is mentally and emotionally. So if you're still holding on in that arena, then you're still holding on. So I feel as though there is an opportunity with somebody new that has really good intentions, is a lover, is kind, and it could lead to a lot of romance and happiness, but you're stalling by not, you are stalling, the tower reversed is stalling, you are stalling um, because you're, you're so afraid to be alone, you, you can't, or to, that you're not going to find anybody else, that you aren't really open to the possibility of somebody else, but the fact, because you're holding on to something that isn't compatible, Okay, it's not, so you're holding on to it because who knows why, I, I, don't, I don't know why you are, but you are, and there's an opportunity for, you're only hurting yourself by doing that, you're feeling there's less, there's like a lack of self-love and it's bringing you down, it is, it's making you resentful even, okay, um, when there could be a new opportunity waiting for you, if you could just let this end, there's a new beginning, a new chapter waiting for you. But you have to have confidence, you have to have strength, you have to have willpower. You need to find your focus, you need to find your concentration and your strength above all to wake up in regards to this situation that you are involved with that may have caused a little bit of resent within you. Right? And I'm not sure what the hell this is. Yeah, there's something going on behind the scenes here. It's all is not as it seems. There is something going on behind the scenes that you don't know the logistics of okay the moon is hidden forces there's secrets there's also some fear okay so i think that that there's a new opportunity waiting for you but because you won't let go of something else it's 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 halted it's it's stalled and you could even lose the opportunity altogether um because you have to remove the obstacle this is the eight of swords reverse is an obstacle that needs to be removed from your life there is an obstacle you are involved in a situation that doesn't serve you anymore but you're hanging on to it for who knows what reason when there is a new opportunity you know waiting for you it's waiting for you there's this opportunity could relight that fire within you if you would just let it this is happening for a reason. Trust me, there's a cycle. The moon is about cycles. There's a cycle that needs to end in your life, but you're, you're, you're trying to control it, not let it end, refusing to wake up. You need to release. You need to let go of the worry. You need to let go of the depression. You need to let go of the anxiety. You need to walk away from this situation that has brought you down for so long you're on thin ice anyway if you continue to stay in this situation uh, physically emotionally whatever there will be no solid opportunity to find something solid or to receive this solid opportunity that that is in it's here you're just not seeing it okay you're not you're not seeing it. You're not wanting it. It's here. It's like it is here. It's here. So there is a new opportunity absolutely waiting for you, but you can't see it because you are stuck in a predicament that isn't well suited for you. So therefore, I mean, the lover's card is a card of consequences. It's also a card of choice. Somebody isn't making the right choice. And that is a terrible, terrible, terrible injustice to yourself. It's an injustice. <sighs> We're going to get you two of these, Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive and thinking and faith will bring you romance. Stay optimistic. You have somebody, but you have to prove to the universe that, because this is a universe card and the tower is a universe card, that you've learned your lesson, that, you will, that you're willing to wake up, that you're ready, that you're, you're done holding on to this, that you haven't let go of yet, but you need to prove to them. Anyway, you need to be positive. Think positive. Here it is. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. That's what you're doing, right? That's what you're trying to do. 
you're trying to work on something that I don't believe I think this is a message but I don't think it's the right one I don't because separation is on the bottom time apart from your partner is on the horizon there's a situation in which you have been trying to make work doing everything in your power to make it work but I don't see it working out I don't know who this is for it will not resonate with everybody you're on thin ice and it feels like you're on thin ice and you're about to fall through so anyway, I feel like there's an opportunity for a new beginning here with somebody new. Some of you don't want to hear that. That's okay. This is for somebody I don't know who. I see a possible divorce or legal issues. Okay, this could be a divorce. This is... There's something that is getting really old that you are hanging on to and the universe is wanting you to have a new beginning. They are with the world card and the ace of pentacles, even though it's reversed. And the death card reverse. Those are new beginnings that are wanting to be wanting to happen. I want to give this to you. Would you accept it, please? Whatever. It is what it is. Talk to you later.